Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutail Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful crown ring. It's done with delicate beads and the brick stitch and I will show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. If you have any questions, you could always ask me anything in the comments. I'll try to answer to all of you. Down there in the description, you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on Facebook and Instagram. And you could also check my second channel with the fast clips and other brick stitch tutorial down there in description and at the eye icon. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this ring are these three colors of 11 Omayuki Delica beads and here I use, and here I use Naimo nylon thread which is size D 0.2 millimeters of thickness. This is size 10 beading needle. You could use size 11 or 12. And uh, these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm going to show you this ring using the familiar brick stitch. Okay. And now in order to start my element, I'm going to take two black beads. Okay, I have my two here. Go, I'm going to slide those down, stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and how I'm making my knot, I'm making here a loop and I'm going twice through the loop I've made and I pull, okay, just like this. Now I go here through the next seed bead. Okay, and now you see how my beads are arranged next to each other. You see like this and the holes are from this side. This is what you want to have. Now in my next step, I'm going to take one more seed bead and I'm going back just like this. Okay, then you see I have three in a row and I'm going through this one. You see what I have here and the holes are from here. Now I'm going to take one more seed bead and I'm going back just like this. Okay, I have four in a row and go like this. Then I take a fifth one and I go back just like this and like this. Then I get again, I take one and I go here. Okay. Now, this is uh, the first basic row that I will start my first triangular element from but in order to make it stronger I will go one more time around those beads in this direction okay now what I want to do is start my second row now for my second row, I will show you the brick stitch that I mentioned. If you haven't done brick stitch before, don't worry. I'll show you really slowly and easy and you will know how to do this. Okay, I take a red and a yellow bead. And because here I will be making a triangular form and this brick stitch will be decreasing, I won't go through the first thread bridge here, but through the second. You see, I have thread bridges 
between my beads okay this is the first one between the first and the second seed bead and this is the second one between the second and the third so i'm going here between the second and the third okay like this now i have this but you see how those beads don't stay like the ones in my previous row that is why i want to go one more time through those beads just because i want to make them stay in a better shape next to each other with their holes pointing outwards like it is in my previous row okay now i have this then what i need after that is a black one and i'm taking my black one and i'm going here through this bit through the next thread bridge and through this one okay from now on i'm gonna be adding them one by one until the end of this row and in my next step i need again a yellow I'm adding it under this thread bridge and then going through it. And then what I need is a red one. And I go here through this next thread bridge. Okay, and I go back. Okay, now I prefer to flip because it's easier for me to go in this direction and I will do my next row and my next row will start with a red and a yellow. And again, because I'm decreasing, I'm going under the second thread bridge, not between the red and the yellow, but between the yellow and the black. Okay, I go like this. Then I go, I go again through the yellow. Okay. But those, bre uh, those two beads don't stay well. So again, I'm going to do an additional step of reinforcing them. And making a new thread pad to make them stay in a nice shape. Okay, then in my next step I need again a yellow and a red, but this time I'm adding them one by one. Okay, now again I like to flip. And then here I need red, yellow, red, but I always first start with two beads, which are red and yellow. I go through the second thread bridge like I did before. Then I go through this yellow and reinforce. When I decrease, I always reinforce. In some other tutorials, I show increasing brick stitch and uh, there I don't need to reinforce but if you want you could check them out in more details I'm linking them at the eye icon and down there in description okay then again I prefer to flip and here I need two red beads go under the second thread bridge by the way there are only two thread bridges and i'm going through the second one then i go here reinforcing and i take one red bead okay and I go like this and with this step I attach this red bead here at the top. Now at my next step I want to continue this pattern more and more. Okay, so in order to do this I'm going to need more of this basic black row. 
Okay, I'm adding them the same way as I did before. I will add four beads. Okay, I added four and they are enough bases for my next similar element. Okay, and in order to start it, I first want to reinforce this row. Okay, and here I want to reposition my thread to exit out of this red bead. And you know how I usually added two beads in the beginning of my element, but now uh, the first red bead is already there. So I won't add uh, another red or a red and a yellow like I did here, but I will start directly with a yellow. Okay, and I have this yellow here and I'm going under the next thread bridge. like this and I go back through this yellow okay so these are these two I'm repeating my work so these are these two beads then I need a black one and I go here next to the yellow and I go back here and then I will add a yellow and a red Okay, now I have this and I prefer to flip my work to go in this direction. And now I could follow this pattern that I already did. And I will have a red, two yellows and a red. So I'm taking a red and a yellow because this time I'm starting with two beads. And I'm going in the second thread bridge like I did before. Okay, then I do the familiar step. I go through this yellow, back through the red, and one more time through the yellow. Okay, then what I need next is a yellow and a red, and I take a yellow, go under the thread bridge, pull, go back, then I'm going to take a red one, go under this thread bridge and go back. And then what I want to do is connect those two red beads. Okay, because I don't want them to move around and to open at a, a later stage. Okay, now I will start my next row, but I prefer to flip like this. It's not obligatory, but I just prefer to do this. And in my next step, I need red, yellow, red, and I'm taking a red and a yellow. And I'm going under the second thread bridge. Then again, like this, like this, like this, and I need a red one. Okay, again, I prefer to flip and I'll show you faster. Okay, now 
I have my first two elements ready. And from here on, I want to make three more elements. So I will have five elements in total. And how I do this, just uh, if you forgot how I'm making them, rewind the video from here. Uh, so what I did is that I added four uh, black beads and then I reinforced them. And from here on, I continued making uh, the triangle. So forward the video up to here and repeat it three more times and then I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys and now I did five more elements and here what I want to do is to start adding black beads. Why? Because this is the front part of my ring and here at the back I will make my ring band only with black beads and I want to make enough black beads so I could connect this one and this one and it will fit my finger perfectly. Okay, how I do this? I add just like I did before beads here and I can't tell you how much because you should do it for your finger or for the finger of the person that you are doing it for. So basically I will continue this and when I feel I have enough of those black beads I will be back and show you what's coming up next. Okay and when I feel I have enough black beads here I will connect this part to the other part of my work, okay? How I do this, I come here, you see where I am, and I go through this last bit, and I want to connect it to this bit here. And then I go back like this. Okay, now I have my ring band uh, almost ready. I mean the basic row of my ring band. But now what I want to do is zigzag through all of those beads and reinforce them. Okay. And I will continue this until the end. Okay, and when I continue this, guys, you see, I'm here at the edge of my work. And what I want to do is reposition my thread so I could exit out of this red bead. Okay, like this. Now I have this. And in my next step, I'm taking a black one and I'm going under the next thread bridge. Because as I said, my ring band will consist of only of black beads. Okay. Now I have this, then I'm going to take another one. I'm going under this thread bridge. And then I go back through this black one. I will show you one more time and let you do this until the end of this row. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind it and repeat these steps until the end okay see you in a while okay and here i am where i'm just adding my last black bead from this row and what i want to do is reinforce this part like this okay then what i want to do is exit through the yellow and through the red in this direction and it's not obligatory, but I will make an additional black row. 
you could do even more rows but i will stop until three rows okay now i'm taking one black bead and i'm going under this thread bridge then back through it then another and go here and i'm showing you one more time and i will let you do this by yourself until the end of this row okay guys and i'm here at my last step where i add this black bead here and i'm going through it and now i'm going to connect it to this red bead and as i told you you could expand this ring band with more rows but i think three are enough just enough that is why now i'm going to cut my thread and with this work you don't need to make knots to cut your thread you could just zigzag many times through your work just like i'm doing it here and when you feel you have been a lot of times through those beads go here at the back and now it's time to cut your thread and now guys my ring is ready okay guys and now my crown royal ring is ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make matching jewelry to the ones that i have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on facebook or instagram you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is and you could check my second channel with the fast clips thank you so much for watching bye bye from me